Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very, very well. So if you saw my recent Superdrug haul, then you'll know that I picked up the full set of the Molten Chocolate um, Liquid Lipstick Lip Lava things from I Heart Makeup. These cost £3 each. I got them three for two, so I got all six of them for £12, which I thought was pretty good. They're all kind of nudie, brownie sort of shades, which obviously we all know that I love. And yeah, I thought they were just something a little bit different. They are dupes of the Too Faced melted liquid lipstick thingies, the chocolate ones, you guys know the one that I mean. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just swatch these because I haven't really seen any swatching videos of these yet and I thought they seemed really, really interesting. I've tried the lip lavas before, which is the same sort of thing, um, and they were really nice. They're not matte, but they do have like a nice finish and can obviously blot them down and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought I would just show you guys the colours and how they look on. So I've just realised from looking at them that they don't have like the shade name on the actual bottle from what I can see. They did have them on the box, but I've thrown the boxes away. So what I'm just gonna have to do is just, when the close up comes up of me wearing a certain shade, I'm just gonna put the name of that color um, on the screen there. So let's start off with this sort of light nudie shade. These have got like a nice foam applicator and you just give them a squeeze and it just comes out. Okay, so this is more of a pink. So that's that shade there, and as you can see, they do have like a slight sheen to them, but they're not like really, really glossy. They are like a more sort of, I don't know, they're not a satin finish as such, but they do have a fairly matte look to them, but they do just have like a slight sheen to them. So I personally really, really like that. I think it's like a really nice wearable sort of take on a matte lip because it's not glossy. It doesn't seem to come off or anything like that. They do transfer if you can see that so yeah but you can see actually just from doing that they have blotted down really nicely so you can sort of make them work for you next i'm going in with the more orangey shade this one is kind of like a new but more of an orange tone let's give it a squeeze i feel like this one's going to be quite almost like peachy apricot yeah wow that is bright so again that's what it looks like just straight from applying it i'm gonna blot it again and it's like a nice sort of more demi matte finish this colour is pretty bright, it's not something that I'd necessarily wear in the autumn winter time. Um, it's a really nice colour for like, I don't know, like a summer holiday or something like that though. Then next I'm going to go in with the colour that I'm most excited about, it's kind of like this dusty rose sort of nude shade. So really, really excited about this one. So this one's definitely more of like an actual sort of natural nude shade. So yeah, this is it blotted, I think this is probably like the more like wearable everyday nude. So yeah, really really like this colour. Next I'm going to move on to the slightly darker, sort of nudie, mauve shade. Give it a squeeze. I'm always scared when I squeeze these. Ooh. I'm trying to think exactly what chocolate this smells like. I feel like it's something that you'd eat at the cinema. It smells like M&M's. That is exactly what it smells like. It smells like M&M's. Mm-hmm. So that's the more sort of mauve neutral pink tone. Again, I think it's really, really nice. This is it without being blotted and that's it being blotted. So they're really easy to make matte as you can see. But even doing this swatching video, it's not hurting my lips whatsoever. Like normally by the fourth slash fifth time I'm applying a different lipstick, it does start to hurt. These just kind of feel like a lip balm. And then we're gonna move on to the two more chocolatey shades. I'm gonna go with this one. It seems like the more sort of neutral chocolate. And then you've got like a nice, almost red, deep chocolatey brown shade. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the slightly lighter one. I feel like this one could be really, really nice. This is literally like putting actual chocolate on my face. My childhood dreams have come true. So this is what the more chocolatey shade looks like. Obviously not blotted down love this color so much and i'm very very excited to put my mouth on my hand it's so so nice especially when it's mattified yeah really big fan of this color i think it's like a really nice fairly unique shade especially for the drugstore um yeah they're so so nice these okay now last but not least i'm gonna go in with a more warm tone brown this looks a little bit more almost purpley oh my god this one's squirting everywhere this one's very, very dark. Seriously craving M&M's now. Okay, so excuse the shoddy application on this one, but this is the darker shade of the six. Not necessarily my color as such. I do like the color, but I find that for a shade like this, I'd probably want to go for something like a liquid lipstick just because like one that would dry down matte because I feel like this could get a little bit messy. But if you are after something that's like super vampy, kind of like airing on the edge of like a black purple sort of tone, then this is a really good option. And again, for three quid, you really cannot complain. I'm just gonna blot this on my hand now. 
So this actually lightens it a lot. I don't know if you guys could see that. But obviously you can see, you get a lot of, not fallout, I can't think of what the word is, transfer. You get a lot of transfer. Um, but it does lighten the shade a little bit as well. So you could always mattify it with like a powder or something to keep the deep shade. Um, but if you don't want a light shade, then just blot it on your hands. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it a little bit helpful. Let me know which your favourite shade was in the comment section down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I got some of my teeth. We're good.